Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Danielle and I am a senior nursing student at Chamberlain University Sacramento campus. I have been dying to make this video. I've been wanting to make it for literally over a year. I had put a post on Instagram asking you guys to send in questions that you had about my school and my program and I never delivered the answers because I have ADHD and let's just be honest, I forgot. So. <laughs> I pulled up some of those questions. I put them on a document here on my iPad and it's only like five or six questions. I tried to make it nice, short and sweet um, just to answer some of those questions for you guys. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm sure if you landed on this video, you either found me from Instagram or just from searching Chamberlain on YouTube, but I'm so glad you're here and I really hope that you enjoy today's video and come back for the next one. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the list here. I only have like six questions, so I'll try to just make it really quick. First question is, where are you at in your program? How much longer do you have left? I am a senior, so I only have until December 2021, which is just a little less than five months, I think. Don't hold me to that. I think it's a little less than five months. Yeah, a little less than five months. Um, I'm in community health right now and my next two classes are collaborative and then capstone and then I am done. Next question, how have clinicals been and when did you start clinicals? Clinicals have been good. Um, obviously COVID kind of like messed up our clinical situation at the beginning of the year last year. So I didn't go to the fundamentals clinical, which was at a sniff. We didn't do that. And then we, my class started med surge in adult health one, which is what, which was last July, July, 2020. So our clinical experiences haven't been, you know, normal, like they were pre COVID, but we're definitely moving in that direction. And my clinical experiences, um, overall, they've been really good besides the amount of time that we've gotten to go. Um, little disappointing on that end but I mean there's nothing anyone can do like if the hospitals don't want us in there because of COVID there's nothing my school can really do about that so yeah it's been going good the next question is what has been the hardest part about your program at Chamberlain I'm considering applying but I've heard it's really hard um I don't know how to I don't know how to really answer the second half of that question I don't know if they're mentioned like saying that it's really hard to get in or that the program is really hard so I'm just going to kind of answer overall um the hardest part about the program for me was probably patho and pharmacology but my professors were really good so I lucked out on that um and also just specific to the COVID situation is that like our clinical experiences weren't normal so it's like I don't know you kind of miss out on some of those opportunities but like it's all good and like being on this end of it like almost done now I don't really care it, it, it kind of sucked in the moment but we'll be fine and yeah the program I wouldn't say it's hard I would just say it's nursing school and nursing school is just not easy so um it's like one of the I think it's was voted like one of the hardest professions or one of the hardest like college um why is my brain just like not working mm, well that thought's gone but it's one of the hard hardest majors that's what it is one of the hardest majors in college and I can see why it takes a lot of like mental just physical energy it just it just sucks a lot out of you but overall it's not hard it's just time consuming and you have to you have to love it and be passionate about this to like deal with everything that comes along with being a nursing student but I wouldn't say it's hard it's just it's just challenging and um you know you just you just gotta go through it and just deal with it it, it pays off in the end right we're gonna be nurses in the end so yeah that's all that really matters the next question is, can you talk about the entrance exam, the HESI or the T's? I took the HESI and it says, what was your scoring like to get in? And then it says GPA question mark. Um, so I had to take the HESI and my scoring for the HESI wasn't that great. I, would, I had not taken any of the sciences. I hadn't taken anatomy, physiology, micro, biology, or chemistry when I took the HESI. And I got really high scores on the math 
in English sections of it so that, and those were weighed heavier at our school. So I scored really well on those. Um, as far as the sciences go, I didn't do as well on that, but I mean, I did well enough, obviously like I got in, but um, my score, I can't really remember what it was. I'll be honest, it was in the eighties. I don't remember what my exact score was because I put it out of my mind. Um, but I will say that my high school GPA was really low. I had a 1.9 high school GPA and that's just because I had learning disabilities that were not diagnosed yet. And um, I struggled really bad in high school, but my college GPA was in the high threes. I don't, remember, I don't even remember what that was, to be honest with you. I think it was like 3.6, 3.7, maybe it was 3.8. I don't know. Either way, I had to use my high school GPA because I didn't apply for my, um, my gosh, my brain, I've been up for a long time. My brain doesn't work. I didn't apply for my degree or anything like that. I didn't do what I needed to do to get my degree at community college because I was getting into Chamberlain, so I didn't really care. But um, I want to... I just want to say on that topic, don't be discouraged if you don't have a super high GPA or super high test scores. Like I would say, if anything, you should really, oh, my fish are going crazy over there. If anything, you should really focus on your passion statement, which is the letter that we have to write at Chamberlain when we apply. I put my whole heart into that letter and I put everything out on the table um, for the admission committee to read. And I was just honest, you know, I, I went into it with the perspective of if I get turned down because I don't have a 4.0 and I didn't get like a 95% on my hussy, like there's nothing I can do about it. And on top of that, I was viewing the opportunity as if I was an asset to it. So I knew in my heart that if my school didn't choose to take me that they were going to miss out on a really passionate hardworking student that is dedicated to doing whatever is necessary to make it and to succeed in their program so i just had to have that perspective going into it because it was true and it was honest and it was true to myself and it worked out for me um i would just say go go into it confident and honest and authentic and just be like completely raw with your feelings and um, really put a lot of energy into that passion statement whenever it comes time for you to write one. Okay, moving on. The next question is honest review of Chamberlain, please. Okay, so I get this question all the time and here are my thoughts about any nursing program. There's gonna be ups and there's gonna be downs, right? There's gonna be pros, there's gonna be cons. What I have to say about what I keep hearing about different like reviews and stuff is like, you're gonna get good reviews and bad reviews no matter what you're looking at, where you're going. It could be a McDonald's, it could be Ruth Chris Steakhouse, it could be Chamberlain, it could, it could be Harvard University, right? our experiences are subjective to us. So you have to remember people writing reviews are writing a review based off their own experience. So based off of my experience, I'm happy. I will be a nurse in just a little bit less than five months. I am trained. I am getting the knowledge that I need. I am getting the experience I need. I have supportive professors. I have supportive like staff at our school. I have great clinical partners and I have some of the best friends I could possibly have in my program. I am happy, very happy with my decision. I cannot speak for other people, but I am very lucky to have been accepted to this school and I'm very lucky to get my education here and move forward and, you know, pursue my career of being a nurse through going to Chamberlain. So that's my thoughts on that. Anything you read online, take it with a grain of salt, right? I mean, especially with like nursing programs, like nursing school in general is challenging. So you just never know what the, the person writing the review is going through or what their experience as a student is like. So you just have to like take that into mind when you read negative things online about anything. But overall, I am very, very, very happy with my decision to come to my school, so. My next couple of sessions are gonna fly by. 
I am coming to the end of this incredible journey that I've been on in nursing school and I just wanted to say if anyone out there is considering a career in nursing it is like the best I might be biased it is so amazing and I don't know there's just something beautiful about nursing and I don't I don't ever regret my decision to put my whole life on hold to do this this has been such a unique experience for me and I love it and I do have to say I've made some of the best friends at my school like my cohort is so special and unique so smart so close so supportive and encouraging like I got lucky with my cohort I'm I got so lucky so lucky they are they have some of the best friends I'll ever have in my class so that being said I think that's all I have I will try to start documenting when I go to collaborative I am currently at an, um, a Catholic school and I'm not going to film anything there because that's kind of weird and privacy. So <laughs> I'm not going to film there, but I will be going to collaborative in Capstone after this to do my last two rotations as a nursing student. <laughs> um, but I'll try to like, you know, document the experience and share on here if I remember. So yeah, check back for that. I'll post about it. Um, Thanks for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if you have questions. I try to respond to everything. Um, I love talking to you guys and I love your messages on Instagram. So thank you and good luck in your journey and I will see you soon. Bye.